For us, it's about fully embracing a shared creative journey, this very unique mindset where you no longer conceptualize, create, and achieve things in intellectual isolation, but more collectively as a binome. You're right. Collaboration for us is about bettering yourself and your partner through a constant dialogue. We have this very symbiotic creative dynamic where we push and stimulate one another. Well, I mean, for me, it's really about this capacity to challenge each other and question each other in this very respectful and constructive manner. We are able to share our undiluted thoughts, however intuitive, absurd, or abstract they may be, without feeling judged. Well, we both are involved in all projects of the company and develop the creative strategies and framework for all the works together. You know, that's a given. But when it comes to developing and executing them, we're always capable of each managing different teams and different units, you know. We're also very fortunate to have our own skill sets too. Like for instance, you know, Lana will have a really strong opinion in typography and a certain layout or design, and we'll rely on my experience to develop it. The same way as I might have some creative uh, insight on beauty, but Lana will actually physically, you know, design like beauty products such as Victoria Beckham Beauty or La Bouche Rouge. So, you know, we're very complementary in that manner. But our dialogue is constant, and we rely on one another to bounce off ideas and challenge each other all the time. I mean, I think we really rely on each other constantly on a day-to-day -day basis and try to remember to continuously engage and practice our craft as honestly and thoroughly as possible. To remember to remain obsessed, to be disruptive and engage more profoundly and with the same level of expertise and excellence regardless of the nature of the project we take on. Well, I think that in today's age of entitlement where so much is taken for granted, we're both here to remind each other on a daily basis to always remain grateful, to have this humility to always appreciate this kind of extreme privilege of working and earning a good living while being creative, free and doing something that we really enjoy. This stringent ideology defines who we are, what our values are, and that we will never compromise, however difficult the fight it may be. How else would our craft, artistry and purpose make any sense? Why would we do what we do halfway? Lana has this great knowledge and appreciation of our industry's heritage and visual culture, coupled with an insatiable desire to try to upkeep the quality of the work. Having matured in the digital age also gives her this very extensive understanding on how to best navigate and create within these new forms of consumer habits and communication. What I really enjoy about her is her undiluted honesty, her passion, her curiosity, her humility. She always looks sideways, she's always unafraid to make mistakes. She's always outside of her comfort zone, you know, believing that there's always a way to do things better. And I think that is really refreshing. She also has this contagious innate joy and positive mindset and energy. You know, being so excited and happy to do what she's doing and appreciative of, of the, the, the industry and the world we're in and our job. And that is the most, you know, inspiring thing for me. Ezra is a perfectionist and possesses a unique artistic ideology. What is so amazing and inspiring to see is that everything that he produces, regardless of the size or importance of the project, is subject to the same level of creative integrity and excellence. Sky is the limit when it comes to his level of expectation. Um, he's constantly challenging himself and reinventing things. What is nice to see that he has so much fun working. Also, it is so unusual for someone to have so many different skill sets and a capacity to excel at various mediums, be it graphic or product design, art direction, editorship, or photography and film direction. Well, joining the N agency and magazine with such a background in history was obviously intimidating at first, but more than that, it keeps me motivated to give the best of myself today. Ezra has pushed me and allowed me to explore so many mediums. He was instrumental in teaching me how to value every aspect of creative process, artistic integrity and ideology, as well as an obsession for perfecting every detail in what we do. Together, we have founded Content Matters and Go and See and are developing both the new and the existing entities. We are very lucky to never really get bored since we do such a variety of different things from fragrance and beauty product design, branding and packaging, print and film, digital communication, to publishing a magazine or even photography and directing.
Well, if I look back, I'm immediately reminded how much our industry and the job of art direction has evolved. For my generation, we were allowed the time to explore, to make mistakes. And things today have quite accelerated in this generation. Even in school, you have to be a star. My personal opinion is that we all need some time to explore, to be with ourselves, without having to feel the constant pressure to be more productive and make it big in the early stage of our careers and our paths. In our business, time has become the new luxury. The pace, as well as the reduced time span at which we are expected to conceive, produce and deliver things, has increased over the past 15 years. Inevitably, people, especially the newcomers such as myself, are more and more formatted to perform in these conditions. Even though some of us can rely on intuition and instinct, unless you're a creative genius, it'll be extremely hard to keep up on a constant and high level of quality at this extreme pace on the long term. I can only say by experience that there's one thing you cannot really compromise with in your creative process, is the notion of time. So if one wishes to stay faithful to one's creative and artistic integrity, one needs to be extremely aware of this and find a healthy balance in one's work environment and methodology in order to give yourself the best chances to achieve excellence. At this, no one's role is equal.